you also made the decision to get your breast implants removed. I, I mean, how did that all happen? Why did you make that oh, decision? God. It wasn't necessary, was it? No, it was not necessary. I just went through a time in my life after my divorce where you're just kind of soul searching, trying to figure out who you are. And I went to the doctor and within weeks, they're like, okay, you have cervical cancer and we highly re recommend that you have a hysterectomy. I'm with Eddie and I knew I was at the age where if I was gonna have another child, I had to have it now. Mm -hmm. And if not, you know, mm -hmm. then I would do the hysterectomy. And I told them, I'm really not sure, Kim, was there another option? They mm -hmm. said, well, we can do an aggressive treatment where they went and just kind of took everything out. But mm -hmm. with that treatment, you probably would never be able to have kids again. You wouldn't, you'd be able to get pregnant, but you couldn't hold, you know, right. carry the baby. So I had that done and we decided not to have children, obviously. Right. Right. I'm, well, of course. Yeah. And, um, and then shortly after that, because when you go in for your yearly, you have to go have a mammogram. So I, I waited like a month, pushing it off, went and had my mammogram. They're like, okay, you have lumps in your breasts that need to be biopsied. Mm. So I just went, what is going on with my body? I think I just had gone over, under so much stress right. from the divorce and I felt like everything was good and now you're right. really, you're dealing this with me, to giving this to me. Right. So I- um, When it rains, it pours. Yeah, so I went and just said, you know what, if I, had cancer behind my implant or hidden somewhere. I just don't want to take that chance. I already had to scare, get rid of them. Best thing I've ever done. Amazing. Well, that's good to hear.